lost two Giants over the last couple of days, uh, literally and figuratively. Uh, Don Marin, of course, once uh, ran Payne Weber. And Paul Volcker, uh, we've just learned, has passed away as well at 92. Of course, Fed chair from 79 to 87, famously uh, having attacked inflation. Yes. Uh, with rates that we have not seen nor perhaps will ever see again. No. It worked. Yes, beginning October 6 of 1979, uh, he decided to... Tar uh, Fed Chair Volcker decided to target the target credit, making credit harder to get, taking rates up. David, a lot of people feel that after he broke inflation, that's when really the great bull market began. And there have been stutter, stutter steps, but a lot of people think of Volcker as the man who made America a, a, a country that was regarded as um, not willing to take inflation anymore. Great bull market and bonds began too. Yes, and it's been, you can More sell 14%, 15 16% bonds, uh, treasuries to people in the early 80s, yeah. uh, 30 year. And, and that paper just kind of came due. So I, 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 everyone respected Volcker. Now, then there was a second Volcker, the Volcker who came in after the uh, Great Recession. Yes. And basically said, listen, we've got to get these banks from taking on risks. It's very unpopular again. You know what he did? He took unpopular stances in an era where people seem to always want to please. And I think that's extraordinary. If we had more leaders willing to take unpopular stands on behalf of the country, who knows what could happen?